And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Minion the Collection. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, with patch 3.1 about, well, less than a month away now, uh, they're going to be adding in a Minion Battle Arena to the game. So, one thing I recommend you do while prices are fairly reasonable is to pick up as many Minions as you possibly can. So, um... My good friend Roberto has sent me the materials to make the Iron Giant um, minion. Or is it Iron Giant or Iron something? Let's take a look at it. So, Iron Dwarf, my bad. So, um, basically, you can use a website called xivminions.com and it will look at your lodestone and it will basically make you a shopping list of all of the minions you need in the game and where to get them from. So once I make this dwarf, then I will get it. So where are my materials for the dwarf? I have all the rest of the materials, but my friend Roberto sent me all the materials for the expensive part of the craft, that's for sure, because these scraps are like 500k a pop. So where is it? Okay, not there. Let's look on this um, retainer. Okay. So. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So here. Here. Well, so we need glaze nuts and the dawnborn. Okay, there you go. Dawnborn. And we need one glaze nut. I think I actually saw it on the other retainer. Let's check Jayu. Right, here we go. Blaze Nut. Right, so now we can make the Iron Dwarf. Which is one star level 60. So it's just the materials are expensive. To make it is the easiest thing in the world, but um, getting the materials is what's very hard. So I'm just going to do Ingenuity 2 and then just spam Careful Synthesis 2 to get it made. And done. Oh, so that's the Iron Dwarf. It's probably one of the most expensive pets. It's not the most expensive, but it's one of the most expensive minions. So if we looked at it on here, let's see, Iron Dwarf, Iron Dwarf. Here we go. So one person is selling it for 7.5 million, but people have been selling them for about 3 to 5 million. They cost about 3 million to craft. So yeah, there you go. Now, if we look at my minion collection, if we go here to the minion guide, then you can see I've now got 126 minions. So I just want to make sure that before 3.1, I have as many minions as I possibly can have, so that um, if there is any advantage to a certain minion in the vermilion system, I've already got them all. So let me show you the website. Let me load it up. So xivminions.com. Okay, let me show my, uh, let me zoom in actually first, so zoom in, let's show my monitor, so here we go, so this is a website, I'll leave the link in the description, minion, xivminions.com, so what you can do on this website is I'll type in my name, so Mifri Meneth, damn it, that Menethil, and then Sargatanis, check. So what this does is, is that it looks at your lodestone and it works out which minions you have and ma your mounts as well. And it makes you, like I said, a shopping list of the rest. So, yeah. So you see, I mean, I just got the Iron Dwarf, so that's not updated. But so you see, I've got all of my minions here, all of my mounts here. And then um, it basically says... These are the ones I have left. So I need to get the Baby Opo Opo from the final boss in Rayflux Long Stop. I need to get the minion from uh, ex Fishing Exploration Ventures, the Lesser Panda from um, the Airy, and so on. And then a bunch of ones from the Mog Station or from some of them I don't think I'll ever be able to get, like these, like the Wind Up Dalamud and Bahamut, because. They are from promotional codes that were included with the OST of the original game. So I think they're kind of long gone. Unless I add these to the Mog Station, I'll never be able to get them. And they have the same thing for the mounts. So that you can see which mounts you can get 
where to get them from and so on so achievement maps for pvp or the extreme mounts or things like that so it's a very useful website to get so what i would recommend guys is that now really well glo global rank number 37 obviously for the people using this website so um what i would recommend really is now is the time before 3.1 to just get as many minions as you can because they're going to be super cheap right now well they're going to definitely be cheaper now compared to how they're going to be after 3.1 and of course when there's major patches the prices spike so there could be a way of making money and then they will just then go back down to normal but yeah take advantage basically like now is the time to collect them if you're into pet collecting so yeah so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri